Whenever I get the chance, I always like to have a poke around in the soil. It started when I was a kid growing up in Birmingham, and I've been fascinated by soils ever since. In fact, I think it's starting to turn into a bit of a sickness. Hydrophobia starts when organic matter breaks down and leaves a waxy coating on the soil particles that repels water. This can be a natural phenomenon as well as one man-made. The release of plant oils and fungal activity are also causes. It's very common in sandy soils, as I'm sure many of you will have noticed. Trev has battled his sandy soil with great success, but that's hardly surprising, as he really is the James Bond of hydrophobic soil fixing. And I'm gonna share one of his top double O agent secrets with you that of the wetting agent. Wetting agents are an absolute stroke of genius and they're really easy to use. They come in granular form or liquids like this hose on and they're not expensive. And the way this one works, you take the cap off and then you've got this cap here that's got the straw that goes down into the bottle. Screw that on, lift the yellow cap and then you click that onto the hose and then the water that travels across sucks up the concentrate through the straw and it goes all over the garden. Too easy. Wetting agents work like a detergent, breaking through the surface tension and waxiness, similar to dishwashing liquid, but at the same time different. I'm not encouraging you to do your dishes in the garden, but if you want to, go for your life. This also contains liquid compost to improve your soil and sea salt, the world's best plant health tonic. And just look how easy it is to apply. Spray this every two weeks until your soil improves. If you've got quite steep sloping ground, the water and rain are more likely to run off and not penetrate into the soil. Building retaining walls and terracing to level the ground out will help stop this and get the water where it's needed into the ground.